Setting up your coordinate system in SOLIDWORKS is an important step to the design process. If you're coming from a manufacturing background or you just want to reset your coordinate system, make sure you follow along with the video to learn how to set a new part template. We're going to get started with this part that was simply an extrude that was created in the positive Z direction. Now in your typical SOLIDWORKS coordinate system, this is the front plane. And what we want to do is learn to reset this as our top plane. We're going to start by selecting the end face of this. We're going to go normal to. We're going to either hit the space bar on the keyboard or go to our more options. And we want to select update standard views. We're going to tell SOLIDWORKS that we want this new view, which is currently our front plane, to be our top view. We're going to select yes to OK the change. And now we've reset our top view so that Z plus is now pointing the direction that we want it. However, here's an important step in the process. SOLIDWORKS does not rename the standard planes. We've simply reset the views. What we need to do here is we need to reset the names of our planes. And this time I'm going to call the front plane new top. Of course, we would need to reset our top and our right plane nomenclature. And these new planes should be named whatever nomenclature you use in your design industry. Here's an important step in the process we want to make sure we don't forget. We're going to delete this base feature and sketch because we don't need it in our part template. Then we're going to go to Save As. We're going to reset the Save As type to Part Template. And I'm going to name this Part Z Up. We're going to go ahead and replace the one I already had saved. Then we'll close this Part Template file. Now I'm going to create a new part using the Part Z Up. You can see that I have my new renamed planes. My new top plane has Z plus pointing up or normal to this plane. So this is a quick way that we can reset the planes inside of SOLIDWORKS and reorient the coordinate system. So now that when we select our top view, we're now looking down on Z. And this is what most people are trying to achieve. If you have any questions, please let us know support at converge.design.